<sighs> what do you recommend for someone who has lots of food allergies, like to nuts and fruit? First of all, I feel you. I also have a lot of food allergies. I'm allergic to peanuts and I'm allergic to nearly every kind of legume. So those are all of the beans. Um, so the first most important thing is to have a really good relationship with your allergist who will talk with you about the best way to manage your food allergy day to day, as well as create an emergency action plan for you. Um, most emergency action plans will involve things like making sure you're always carrying an EpiPen, knowing when you have to use it. Um, and then other day to day behaviors like always reading the ingredients on labels before you eat them, uh, telling restaurants and other places that you get food from about your food allergy, um, watching out for cross contact. If you know your food, if a food that you're allergic to touches the food that you're eating, sometimes that can be a problem depending on your sensitivity. Um, so as far as in the dance world, the, you know, a good way to manage allergies is I always try and make sure I'm bringing, I'm packing all of my own food instead of having to rely on buying food at, you know, whatever restaurant or you know fast food place is convenient to the studio so first of all i always pack my food um and then with i also try and advocate for myself a lot within the dance space so i make sure that all of my fellow dancers know about my food allergy and that way frequently they um they'll know oh you know i should definitely wash my hands after eating my peanut butter sandwich or um and that way we can help avoid cross contact in the event that we're you know contact improving and i get a smear of a peanut butter hand across my face so that's something to always advocate advocate for yourself. Um, and then as far as some good uh, nutritious swaps, that could be options for you that are not nuts or fruit. Um, so uh, th using seeds could be a great way to replace nuts or use them in other places where nuts would be. So for example, you could try using tahini, which is a nice sesame seed spread. You can make sandwiches with that. Um, or you could use sunflower seed butter. As another option, they have a pretty similar nutrition profile to some kinds of nuts, so a great source of protein, fat, um, very nutrient dense. And fruits is a, li you know, a little bit trickier, um, so it's probably a good place where you could um, talk to your allergist about what are some safe fruits for you, depending on your food allergy. I loved answering your questions, so if you want me to do more videos like this, uh, leave me some questions in the comments below, or you can reach out to me through social media on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So thanks for watching, that's what science tastes like.